Morning too. Um, I'm just outside of West Branch, and it's time for some breakfast, which is going to be a bit meager. Um, a few granola bars and a hot cup of coffee. Uh, I've had the stove. Um, it's an MSR. I believe it's called the Pocket Rocket. I didn't name the thing. Uh, for God, probably close to 20 years now. Uh, it's actually designed for like uh, slimmer uh, backpackers, uh, gas canisters. So I had to buy this adapter for the green, uh, like Coleman style or whatever, um, gas cans. Which I highly recommend. It's just a lot easier to find these style of gas cans um, than the smaller, uh, slimmer backpacker ones. I'm like kid to cut. Oh, that's violently hot. Tastes more like cup than coffee. Doesn't taste like campfire. Best part of waking up is a campfire in your cup. So I've been busy with remodeling my bathroom, like I mentioned in the previous episode, and I've got that done. Um, I've also been working on a lot of solar stuff, like these uh, 12 volt RV lights. I can hook them directly up to the battery, so that way I don't have to run any kind of inverter or anything. I also got this 12 volt um, fridge, which original plan was to turn off this um, kind of power bank that's being fed off for some solar panels. But this wasn't really having enough power for overnight, and just really didn't have enough oomph overall. So now it has uh, its own battery bank to the fridge of this AGM, which um, also allowed me to hook up some other lights to it. And then there was some further upgrades I wanted to get going um, with the main solar bank ever since I had these new batteries. And now I have a, a switch in the living room and all these new fancy components, which I'll talk about in a series I'm still trying to figure out how to format. I'm talking about figuring out how to format things, um, like this shot. I actually set up three other cameras, and this shot actually took me with the camera set up and tear down and all that stuff uh, probably close to an hour. And I edited it for several hours. And um, when I was done, it was almost, eh, not quite three minutes long. And it was just too long and just was kind of nothing. It was pointless. So, anyways, on to Lizard! maintained for um, all the oil workers and whatnot. So you can just explore all over the place. There's tons of roads. And then Luzerne, the actual town itself, is kind of set up. It's kind of like an oil workers town, especially the uh, Luzerne Express. It has showers. It's got um, a little eatery there with this little cafe. It's got uh, laundry. I think they even have um, an RV camp in the back. They rent stuff out. It's just a really interesting place. But going back to how well the roads were, when watching the footage, Nothing really happens, so to be honest, it's kind of boring, so I just kind of cut to the next spot and uh, the adventures I like doing, which is uh, making camp. That's really tightly, I'm not quite sure when I'm doing that. I'll figure it out. It's a billhook. A mini billhook, actually. 
So, uh, the mini bill hook is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, at the last camp, I didn't take the time to do this, uh, to kind of clean out all the trees and little shrubberies that it's going to be underneath your back. And the bill hook with that kind of hooked piece, it uh, really hooks in underneath and uh, cuts the little shrubs out nice and tight to the ground so you don't got these little pokers cutting through into your back or your um, sleeping pad and stuff like that. So highly recommend um, a, a bill hook, especially the mini one, it's just a little easier to work with uh, for clearing camp. And talking about gear, because uh, we're making camp anyways, this uh, dry duffel bag has turned out really great. It's uh, really, really super durable. It's originally designed with like fly fishermen people in mind, and uh, so far it's adapted really well to uh, my needs. Uh, and the cargo net is great, even though it's <laughs> sometimes a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but overall, uh, I forget the make and model of this. If anybody's interested, just uh, make a comment and I'll teach you some further information. I actually bought it locally here at a, a shop uh, here in Middle. I also recommend these kind of uh, backpackers uh, tarps. Uh, they're kind of a really lightweight um, nylon that's impregnated with silicone. And this one seems like it's kind of like one-sided. So I uh, have the, the one kind of what seems like the more silicone-sided uh, up. So that way it's not going to be um, brushed off from the abrasive um, face of the, uh, the trees and stuff I'm working with. So, I have a safety pin in my pocket. The safety pin. I have a safety pin in my pocket to keep the safety pin. And somehow, even though I had it facing this way, tucked in the front piece of my pocket, it came undone, spun around, and just now stabbed a fair distance into my thigh. But, you know, I don't learn my lesson. I'll do it again, because, you know, what's the odds that happened again? Well, what are the odds? So it's kind of um, interesting about this overall setup, and I'm not going overboard with it, but the way, like, especially this branch here, coming down with all those little kind of pokers, and all the other uh, smaller broken up limbs with this kind of oak being all gnarled, I could make this a lot more secure, so to the point where I could at least hear people coming through, because they got to go through everything, or even make it more um, difficult for bigger animals to come through by really hemming in all those um, kind of branches and stuff out there. But it's not really necessary. Um, there's, you know, yeah, I'm safe enough. I can hear people walking up because of the rushing of the leaves. To be honest, I can already feel the uh, temperature difference inside of here, so even though I can feel cold air dropping through there, that's the only thing. And realistically, if I was staying longer, if I was really afraid it would be cold, right? I'd pop that up with something. I got a poncho or something. But, yep, that's it. Actually, I'm pretty proud of this one. But it's now nearly bedtime, so I cut it close as usual. Oh, almost forgot. Hi, right, bud. Stick him in my boots again. So you hear that? It's like snowing-ish. Sleeping-ish. But here's the funny thing. I just started. Where? What is what? Why? It's blue. Like. <laughs> it's pretty bizarre. 